yeah hi guys many people are having this doubt how to switch to a devops career and how to get job into into the devops so basically people are who are doing job in non it or who are done their just fresh graduation and they would like to be join into the it domain so as devops is in trending in the market how to switch to it many people are having this question into it so let's go and discuss about this how to switch and how it is easier to it so first case is about freshers freshers who are done their btech or degree anything is fine you can switch to devops if you done your graduation in btech and degree but you have to done must and should btech or degree it could be into any stream it is into the triple e or ece or in degree some something like into any stream okay you can switch to it the only thing the only requirement you should hold your degree okay degree so which companies are going to hire you startup companies startup companies going to hire you and mnc companies are going to hire you so mnc companies are going to hire you at least with 3 lpa to 4 lpa and startup companies will give you at least 3 lpa why means they need a devops engineer and they need cloud and devops engineer so startup companies they can hire you and they will train you and they'll do work with you and mnc companies mainly looks for the candidate who available for the low package freshers are available for the low package right so the best chance to get in this february next year 2024 for the freshers because there are recruitment is going recruitment will be sure because after financial year done people will be ready already and the project audits are going on and the projects are going to be decide they need more resources they create new work so for that they uh, has to hire the people so service based companies all are going to hire freshers at low package and they'll keep on the bench and they'll show to the customers like let's say let's take the example of infosys infosys will hire you and they'll keep on the bench and they will show to the customers that we have this many resources in the right now actively on the bench and if you give me the project i can deploy them and they will work for you like this so that's why service based companies like mnc companies are going to hire you freshers case the second case non it case people who are doing job in mapping okay mapping i second one is like they use in uh, they work in pharma and few people who works in work process like work chart or chart email process or few people work on uh, this us it staff okay these are all comes under non i even though few people works on banking you are all eligible to learn it first learn the devops take a course and learn the devops along with the a cloud any cloud the best practice is aws cloud learn devops along with the aws cloud and then you can try to switch to the job how put your same experience same company experience if you are working from 2 years show 2 years of experience as you worked on the devops 
from a company let's take a company consulting company okay so you have worked on pharma or you are working on the mapping you are working on the google mapping so okay you can use the same experience you working on the google mapping and you can portray your resume by adding devops and cloud skills so that's where your resume is going to pick up and hr will call you and you can talk confidently and then they'll going to schedule an interview so while they going to schedule an interview you have to perform yourself to crack the interview once you cracked in bgv no one will not verify are you worked on devops or any other they just checks only did you work done or did you work in specific company or not xyz company that's it they only check this they don't want you worked on some uh, mapping or you worked on something else you worked on something you chat process email process they don't check this all so and so scan that is worked in so and so falana company or not like this they will only check this if it is genuine you can able to switch it so that is the best practice to go and no worries whatever the uh, the name will come on your relieving letter or service letter you can just say when i have joined in a company i have joined as a uh, like a normal associate and later i got a chance to switch up on domain and work on the same company and i have worked while i am relieving the same designation name came on my service letter or the same job title name came on the service letter like this if few people will ask no one will ask in 99% 99% no one will ask if any single hr is asked you you can just share your information confidently so this is how you can switch to the company and few people and don't go for the fake if you are already working in non it procedure you know already working in non it process so don't go for fake few people who are all working in completely different domain like it's not even related to non it okay like real estate like something else so you can use fake that time but it is not recommended i'm clearly telling you it's not recommended if you want to go with the fake so like many gimmicks are available in many areas you can try it out but it is not recommended once you join in a company however they're going to catch you and they will relieve you but try to go as a fresher okay that's help you a lot learn the knowledge this is going to help you to switch to the devops and one more question devops is needed code no actually no coding is not needed only scripting needed only scripting needed scripting is something scripting is something already libraries are available and you are writing in a sequence manner to execute to get an specific output that's it and coding is something like you're creating new the best example i can give you coding is like you're creating the bricks to your house to build and scripting is something already bricks available and you're putting in a sequence to make it as a wall so that is an output so this is the difference between coding and scripting so scripting is needed hardly why am i shell and python terraform these are needed yml shell terraform or yml terraform is mandatory and shell and python are optional so once you have this knowledge we can switch to the devops easily and it is high paying job for the three or two years of experience candidates company is ready to pay 8 lpa to 10 lpa and for one year they are ready to pay from 
3 LPA to 5 LPA fresher and one year okay one year candidates and for four plus year it's 15 LPA okay so this is the margin on the market right now in India in other countries also so this is how you can plan your career and switch okay if you have any doubts you can just reach out to me or mention number in the description I'll provide you career guidance thank you guys